Hello students, welcome to the e-learning platform presented by Mechanical Engineering Department of Dr. Bapuji Sarake Institute of Engineering and Technology, Kolapur. Unit number 4, Automobile Suspension Wheels and Tires. Today we are going to start our new chapter, chapter number 4, Automobile Suspension Wheels and Tires. This chapter contains the, the remaining part of an automobile system that is the suspension system the wheels and the tires the learning objectives for today's session are number one study of need function and requirement of suspension system what is the need what are the function and what are the requirements of a suspension system will be studied in today's session second study of basic terms related to suspension system the various terms that are necessary to understand the working of a suspension system will be studied in today's session. The first point need of suspension system. Basically, why do we need a suspension system in a vehicle? In order to get these answers, the following are the solutions or following are the answers that why suspension is necessary in an automobile. First, in order to provide comfortable ride to passenger and to avoid additional stresses in the vehicle frame. Second, the vehicle should neither bounce nor roll or sway away the passengers when cornering nor pitch when accelerating, braking or sudden lifting or dropping of front wheel with respect to rear wheels. Although some road irregularities and inequalities are observed by the large tires, it is necessary to provide the suspension system for reducing the shock to passenger and for comfortable ride also for reducing additional stress in automobile frame and body. All the parts which perform the function of isolating the automobile from road shock are collectively called as suspension system. A good suspension have springiness and damping. The springiness is elastic resistance to load while damping is ability of absorbing shock. The suspension should have good springiness and good damping capacity. What are the functions of a suspension system in or what a suspension system should do? Oh, the following are the functions of a suspension system. First, to act as a safeguard for occupants against road shocks and provide comfortable ride. That is need to provide a comfortable ride and act as a safeguard for occupants against road shock due to the road irregularities is the vehicle may absorb the vehicle may give, get shock shocking behavior or shock or due to the vehicle the road abnormalities we can get uncomfortable ride so function of a suspension system is to safeguard the occupants against the road shock and provide them comfortable ride hmm? to preserve the stability of vehicle in rolling pitching while in motion that is when the vehicle is in motion and the stability of the vehicle should be prevented to minimize the effect of stress due to road shock on mechanism of vehicle and provide cushioning effect that is to provide the effect minimize the cushioning to provide cushioning effect and to minimize the effect of stress on the mechanical working part or on the mechanism of the vehicle. Four, to provide require height to body structure as well as bear torque and braking action. Fifth, to keep body perfectly in level while traveling over uneven road. Sixth, to provide good handling in road handling while driving, cornering and braking. And seventh, to isolate automobile body from road shock which may be in form of bounce, pitch, roll or sway. The function of an suspension system. What are the requirements of a good wood rigid suspension, sy suspension system? The basic requirements of a suspension system are listed below. First, it must withstand greater part of extra weight of passenger and luggage that has to be carried. This is the most important and 
requirement that is considered while designing a suspension system because while designing we do not know the exact weight of passengers and the luggage that has to be carried. Second, there should have minimum deflection with the load as well as torque or turning forces imposed on it. That is that the deflection should be minimum with the load as well as torque and turning forces when the vehicle is running or when the vehicle is imposed with the torque or turning forces. Third, it must maintain wheels in proper position with respect to road surfaces. Fourth, it should position the axle for minimizing bouncing and associated vibration to which is liable while moving off braking cornering particularly. That is the bouncing motion, pitching motion, yawing motion of a vehicle should be minimum. Uh, um, it should have low initial weight. That is the suspension system should have low initial weight. So it does not add extra weight to the vehicle. Hmm? It prevents the transmission of road noise to the vehicle body and it requires appropriate isolation in suspension joints. So these are the requirements of an suspension system. Let us see some basic terms related to the suspension system. The very first term jounce. Jounce refers to the bounce or vertical movement of an vehicle well, suspension hmm, upward when it comes across the bump or shock in the road. Now, jounce is nothing but the vertical movement of vehicle well, suspension or upward movement of vehicle suspension when it comes across the bump or shock or a road uh, shock in a road surface. Bump is nothing but a speed breaker. Second, rebound. Rebound refers to the movement of vehicle suspension in opposite direction of jounce. That is in the, up, the movement of vehicle suspension in opposite direction of jounce. The downward travel of tire and wheel that extends the spring and shock absorber is called rebound. That is when the vehicle goes in a jounce movement, the return of the jounce movement or the opposite the movement opposite movement and uh, opposite movement of a suspension is called as rebound and when the spring is deflected it stores energy the downward travel of tire and the wheel that extends the spring and shock absorber is called as rebound motion third sprung and unsprung masses the total mass of a vehicle for the purpose of suspension design has been divided into two parts sprung and unsprung unsprung weight consists of tires wheels suspension component that attach these item to main body chassis structure hmm? the rest of the vehicle is sprung weight in dynamic terms all items that move with vehicle are unsprung weight this also includes the portion of shock absorber or which are attached to the suspension system. The portion that are attached to frame and body are sprung masses. Light components can be kept in contact with ground more easily than the heavier ones. Motion of wheel is and related assembly must be stopped before the spring can return the tire to the surface. Therefore, the lighter components and the less momentum there is to control. With greater unsprung weight, suspension has to work harder and handling deteriorates. Low unsprung mass allows the use of softer spring which makes the ride smooth. With less unsprung weight, more weight can be controlled with spring and shock absorber thus giving better ride quality. Resonance due to sprung and unsprung weight adversely affect the ride handling and steering. The higher the unsprung weight, the higher the a hoop and tramp altitudes and lower ride quality in road handling and stability so unsprung mass should be as possible is as should be low as possible fourth spring rate spring rate is defined as amount of force act on a vehicle during the steady aerodynamic forces to compress or deflect a spring amount of force act on vehicle to deflect the spring is called as spring rate. The rate of spring however remains constant at load is placed onto the 
spring and fifth and last term related to suspension elasticity elasticity is the measure of deformation of vehicle body when the force is applied that is when it comes across the bump in automobile it me it must be constant for a suspension system elasticity is the measure of deformation of vehicle body when the force is applied or when it come across the bump so this is it for today's session today's session we have started our chapter number 4 or unit number 4 automobile suspension wheels and tires in which we have completed the need the requirement the function of suspension system and the terms related to suspension system